It's been a minute. It has. I kind of forgot to do my intro. Welcome back, Dragoness of Prophecy. How are you doing? Um, I'm doing perfectly fine. For today's question, what is your favorite planet? My favorite planet is Pluto, even though Pluto is still not a planet. To me, it is considered a planet and I love Pluto. But if you're new here, hello, my name is Jacob and this is my channel. We talk about paranormal things, we talk about spiritual things. So I mean, if you want to vibe, then let's vibe. But for today's video, we're going to be talking about a paranormal game where you literally summon a child demon to talk to, like just have a nonchalant conversation. But one thing that I've never understood is like, I've never found a paranormal game where the backstory is based on something nowadays. Like it's either someone in the 1400s, 1800s or 1900s, you know, had something terrible happen. And like it's something terrible happened and now they're a spirit and now you can talk to them whenever you want. Like I don't like you see the pattern in all these paranormal games. Like, you know, they're fun to test out and stuff, but like half the time they're not going to work. I'm just like for being 100 half the time they're not going to work because you begin to see repetition, 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 repetition. And then you start to see how some of the some of the ones that are coming out now like have elements of other paranormal games like it's just a loop but they're still fun to try so but for today's video we're going to be talking about charlotte's web not the book the paranormal game i did not even know there was a paranormal game called charlotte's web until today but it's also called charlotte's mirror which i think that sounds way much better than charlotte's web you know that's my personal preference all right so a little bit of backstory on charlotte so her full name is Charlotte Webster. She was a seven year old girl who lived in the 1400s and her mother was accused as a witch and was burned at the stake and Charlotte had to sit there and watch. Now, first and foremost, that must have been so traumatizing. Like you think first your you know, your parents are mar labeled as a witch and then they burn them at the stake and force you to watch your parents burn alive. Like what kind of, like, I'm pretty sure that really did happen back in the day. And, like, what was wrong with humanity? Like, they did some so much sketchy stuff back in the day. Like, it's like, okay, like, are you guys okay? Do you guys need counseling? Like, I'm so glad we is out them times because they were ridiculous back then. Jeebus. But, so, after Charlotte you know seeing her mother get burned alive she and she ended up escaping into some nearby woods and eventually met her fate um legend says that she was not equipped to last long in the woods went into the woods and eventually died and her body was picked apart by animals coming across her body now to me that seems like a little bit of tmi like i don't even know that her body was picked apart like you could have just ended up being like you know she died like you didn't have to be like her body was picked apart by animals who walked by and, and when people found her like chill chill down first of all you already burned her mom at the stake probably for no reason now you're trying now you're just telling me that she was pulled apart like that's okay like i all i gotta know is that she passed away I'm good. Y'all already burnt her mom at the stake. What else has she got to lose? But the supplies that you would need to do the ritual is two chairs. You also have to do the ritual with somebody else. Like, that's that's what I don't understand about some games where they say, like, you know, you need a lot of people. Like, if I'm going to talk to a ghost, I'm going to talk to a ghost with myself. I don't need nobody else, okay? There is no law saying that you need two people to speak to a specific spirit. No. If a spirit is wanting to talk to you, a spirit is going to talk to you when they want to talk to you. You don't need this whole fancy, you know, spirit box or all this other stuff. You don't need two people. You don't need to do this whole ritual. Spirits are people too. And if a spirit is willing to talk to you, then they will talk to you. They do require energy as, you know, they are, they have to, you know, come from the spirit world to talk to us. They do need to use energy and just everything that we use is to make it easier for them. But essentially, they do not need none of this. And I actually like how Charlotte's Web, or Charlotte, yeah, Charlotte's Web is a very, just a very 
But like, it's very easy ritual. You don't need like 10 million candles. You don't need a bunch of things. All you need is two chairs. Two, you need two chairs, a mirror, a flashlight, and an offering, and a table. Like, that's so simple. I like it. I just don't like the fact that you need two people. Like, why do I need two people to talk to Charlotte? What do I want to talk to her by myself? You know, like, I need to have a one on one. But nonetheless, so you need the flashlight, you need a mirror, you need two chairs and a table. And what you do is you put the two chairs facing one direction. You have to put the table in between both the chairs, but a little back. You don't, you don't want to see it because you are going to want to be focused only on the mirror. After you do that, you want to put the mirror where you are able to see yourself and the table. You want to be able to see the table and yourself without moving your head because you do not want to take your eyes off the mirror. After you got everything set up, you know, you got your mirror up, you got your two tables, your chairs, put the offering on the table. Then you want to turn off the lights. And it's, they say it's better to do this ritual in a room that has no lights, but if you can't, then just try to minimize as much light coming through the windows as possible. You want it to be completely dark, which this is where I'm probably gonna flaw this game because psychologically, when you're in the dark, your mind plays a trick on you and it makes you see things that is not normally there. You know, just like with the, um, just like with the ghost frequency, if you haven't seen that, I'll link that in the description, but our minds do have powers on tricking us and that is where i think this may have came from you know of some mind playing tricks on somebody and you know thinking they've seen a little girl in the mirror that is probably where and have you ever noticed that all of the paranormal games that you play because essentially a spirit does not need to come to you at night time you do not need to do a paranormal investigation at night it's just more of setting the mood spirits are everywhere they can talk to you during the day they can talk to you during the night they can talk to you in your dreams okay a ghost can speak to you in your dreams if they really wanted to you think that i got you so you're gonna assume like oh my i gotta do all this ritual to talk to charlotte no i'm just be like charlotte like hello but after you got everything set up you know you and the person you're doing this ritual with you guys sit down at the chair and you stare at the mirror and you have to say in unison we want to play with charlotte Which, I, like, I read it and it said, make sure that you practice this before you do it. Because I guess you have to be in unison. Like, you have to. A second later is wrong. I, I don't know. But so after you guys, you know, you guys do everything, set everything up. Say we want to play with Charlotte. Charlotte will then begin to manifest in the mirror. But after you do everything and you get everything ready, Charlotte will then manifest into the mirror and she will either take the offering or she will not. If she takes the offering, you are allowed to ask her any questions, you are allowed to talk to her. If she doesn't, then that means she's going to throw the biggest tantrum that you've ever seen a seven year old throw. And it says that it's like a hundred times worse because she's a spirit now. So they say that if she does not take the offering, what you have to do is end the game, which honestly, if I played this game, I wanted, I want to see what she's going to do. Like, I would want to see what Charlotte's going to do. We ain't in this game. We're going to see what tantrum you're going to throw because I'm going to fight a ghost. I want to fight a ghost. I think that would be so much fun. Like, I want a ghost friend so bad. <laughs> I want a ghost friend where I could just, like, you know, talk to, like, some, like, talk to them, like, my regular friends. Be like, what you want? Like, get out of my face. Like, I want a ghost friend. I think that would be so much fun. And I think Charlotte would be a cool ghost friend. But it does say that if she does, you know, not take the offering, it means that you need to end the game. And by ending the game, you both need to say goodbye, Charlotte, in unison. And they said that you are not allowed to, this was very, like, very, very, very pushed on. Do not look away from the mirror until Charlotte is out of the mirror, like, out completely. She, when you say goodbye, Charlotte, she'll start to walk away from you, like, in the mirror and she will begin to like, you know, dissipate. But you cannot look away from the mirror until she is gone completely from the mirror. 
why I don't know I, I don't know I didn't read that part but I think it said that she is going like she'll be stuck in the mirror and she will haunt you for the rest of your life which honestly doesn't sound that bad I mean I got ghosts haunting me every day and I mean they're rude as they're rude as hell <laughs> you know waking me up in my sleep ain't nobody wanted to talk to you I was sleeping man I don't care what's downstairs. But that is it for today's video. Um, if you have any other paranormal games you want me to talk about, like let me know in the comment section. And if you know like any other paranormal games, you know, let me know. And if you want me to try any, like let me know. I'll try some paranormal games. I tried Bloody Mary already with my mirror. Oh my gosh, my baby. I love her so much. But yeah, if, like, if you have any other paranormal topics you want me to talk about, like, let me know. I'll do it. But that is it for today's video. Um, for getting it to the end of the video, I give you 50,000 awesome dragon points. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.